You can always come to a river and, and look at it and say, cool, there's a lot of running water. There's fish that go up it. But what's the story behind this fish? This water you know, had an origin too. It started up high in the mountains and has now come down to create this beautiful landscaped artwork. Just to be able to be a part of that, it's incredible. It's why I keep on coming back. It's why I keep on pushing other people to try it. Back in the day, there are tales from Native Americans of how there were so many salmon in the creeks and rivers that you could walk across on the backs of salmon. Now, we know there aren't that many, and so we'd like to do something about trying to restore habitat. An estuary is a meeting place for fresh water and the ocean, but more so, it's a nursery. Estuaries are really critical habitat for a whole variety of species. Lots of fish need these uh, marsh habitats and swamp habitats that are very productive and they're good shelter areas for them. They're just very dynamic areas and so they support a wide variety of species because there's all these little ecological niches there. 70 to 90 percent of those habitat types have been lost in Oregon all along the coast and because they're so important to the whole system that's why we are trying uh, what we can to try and protect them and do a lot of restoration. If we take good care of nature, nature will take good care of us. If we don't actively conserve these natural resources, we're gonna lose them. Today we are here at the Nature Conservancy's Miami Wetlands Preserve and we're enjoying a beautiful sunny day. Different partners come together at this nursery to plant mass quantities of restoration plants. So we'll have a, a thriving area. The idea is just to introduce native plants and diversity to give wildlife a place to thrive. We have a responsibility and we are accountable for ensuring that these special places are taken care of. It's a big challenge, um, takes a lot of hands to make progress and we're really grateful for all of those little efforts that really add up to meeting our mission. I would encourage anybody to get involved on any level of conservation. There are a ton of opportunities to get on a weekend, plant some trees, help clean up rivers. Anytime you can help anybody build that connection, you're eventually going to make them care about these watersheds and the species that call them home. And that's where it all begins.